Up next, a value play at wide receiver, Taylor Gabriel. Uh, he is projected to reach about seven fantasy points on FanDuel. Yeah, you look back to week 17, Taylor Gabriel, along with Anthony Miller, both left the, their game against the Vikings early. But Gabriel and Miller and Allen Robinson all got in full practices on Wednesday. So I'd assume they're good to go for this matchup with the Eagles. When you think about the Eagles secondary, they've gotten burned deep quite a bit this year. And what does Taylor Gabriel do really well? He can run fast in a straight line. I think that makes him a pretty fun play for this week. He's just $5,000 on FanDuel with a decent role. If we look at it from week 10 to week 16, which is the time where Allen Robinson was back from his injury and healthy, in that time, Gabriel still had 18% of the Eagles targets. That is not a bad number for a guy with a salary as low as his. Again, he can get downfield to give you some upside as well. I would expect Allen Robinson to be fully healthy for this game. And if I can find the salary to get to Allen Robinson at $6,500, I would like to do so. It is a downgrade for Gabriel for sure. But when Gabriel's salary is as low as it is, I am willing to take on that risk because he has big play upside. He has a pretty decent role overall in the Bears offense. So Gabriel... You know, it might not work out, but I do think there is enough there to justify spending down on him on a slate where we really do need to find some value. Yes, as you are building your lineups, sometimes it becomes slim pickings. So Taylor Gabriel, like you said, it could be risky, but the price tag makes it much more palatable.